Hey everybody, Kim here with another video on uh, DIY motorcycle security. Um, if any of you watched the first three videos, uh, you'll remember that I uh, first I made a chain uh, 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 that I bought uh, from uh, Family Farm and Fleet, I believe it was, which is the same thing as Tractor Supply Company. So you can do this either way, but that's where I bought my chain. I'm still using it. In fact, I'll show it to you right here. You can see right here, I'm still using the same chain as in the uh, first video. Uh, the second video was I went and had a plate made at a local steel fabricator. And then the third video was, um, was having it uh, powder coated and installing it in the ground. The reason I'm making a fourth video is they asked for my driveway about three months ago. And, uh, which was fine because my old one was all cracked and it was all concrete and really bad. However, we had a, a, um, about two weeks of 90 degree weather here in Michigan right at the start of summer. And uh, one afternoon I parked my... Uh, my bike here and it created that uh, from the center stand so obviously that's not good so I thought well I can't use the other one because it's the small square tube um, um, device that we ran the chain through and I wanted something that this time I could still park my bike here uh, but have a park on something more substantial than asphalt um, so what I did was I came up with this idea right here uh, this is a piece of quarter inch steel. It's uh, 8 inches long and 18 inches wide. Um, I had them uh, take some, uh, um, um, some square tubing and bend it. Or some square, I think they call it square. Well, I don't remember the name of it, but it, it's a piece of square metal uh, steel. They bent it for me, cut it in half, and then welded it to the plate to create a locking mechanism for the chain to go through. Uh, or if I just want to bolt it up with a big set of uh, locks. And then I had them put the holes in it. And then I took it and had it powder coated. So I've got uh, about $25 in the plate with the welding and the holes. And I've got another um, 30 getting it powder coated. I took it to a different powder coater this time. Um, he was closer. And that was the only reason I didn't want to drive <clears throat> the distance I drove the last time. So it's a little more expensive project. And then um, there's only two inches of uh, asphalt here. Then the rest is concrete. So I'm hoping that these uh, three-inch um, tamper-proof bolts uh, will solve my problem. Once they go into the concrete, um, you hit, you tap them in. The bent part is supposed to hit the concrete and keep it from ever coming out. So we're going to find out because that's exactly what I'm about to do here. So uh, stay tuned. Um, the video will show um, uh, this process and the end result. And hopefully um, this will be um, another worthwhile endeavor to uh, secure your motorcycle uh, at your house uh, without spending too much money. These bolts were $5 for two of them. So there's about 60 bucks here uh, in this whole process uh, versus spending two or $300 for something online. Okay, so uh, stay tuned. We're gonna start here in just a minute. All right, guys, so I'm back on the regular uh, camera. I'm gonna start off by lining everything up and drilling my holes. I'm just gonna eyeball this, so hang out while I do it. I have a little bit of a hump right here, which I think I'm going to have to pound down with my, with my sledge. We'll see. Yeah, it's a little rocky there, so hopefully I can just kind of massage this into place. This was always part of the plan, by the way. Not bad. Not bad at all.
Okay. That's pretty good right there. So another reason I made it like this was so I could drive over it with another car. So another car could be parked here with no problem. So now here comes the eyeball portion of the program. Okay, I like that. That works for me. So now, I'm gonna put a couple of little pilot holes. Right. Now we're gonna drill. Plenty of cement. Obviously more than deep enough. So there's one. Okay, so the next part of this is pretty straightforward. You basically bang those, uh, those uh, capped, uh, I wouldn't call them screws, but um, posts uh, into the ground. So we'll find out if it's as easy as they say it is. So I've got everything nice and clean here. line up yeah about as close as they're going to get to being perfect okay here we go
Voila, there we go. Done. All right. Well, so there you go. Uh, about 60 bucks. And uh, I now have a uh, tamper proof steel plate that I can lock my bike on and I can actually put up my center stand on so it won't ever fall into the uh, abyss like that again. I'll bring my bike over a little while and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, well, you gotta love it when a plan comes together. I've met um, all my design requirements that I was looking for. Uh, the ability to secure the bike in the driveway. Uh, the ability to park it on its center stand without it <laughs> sinking back into the asphalt again. Um, and secure uh, with tamper-proof um, um, bolts so that it won't uh, it won't come out. Uh, there's no way somebody can take like a, a wrench or whatever and undo it and just carry the whole thing off. Um, is it 100% foolproof? Well, nothing's ever 100% foolproof. But if you live in a decent neighborhood and you just want to be able to park your bike at night, uh, maybe throw a cover on it and not worry too much about it without having to put it away all the time, I think this is a perfect solution. Um, just to go over the materials again for you, um, those are two half-inch tamper-proof bolts. Uh, they're made to go into concrete, as you, as you saw earlier. They have that little um, bend in them, so when they go into the concrete, they actually kind of wedge in and can't be pulled out. Uh, it's a quarter-inch steel plate, 18 by 8, half-inch piece of uh, square bar that was uh, turned and then welded, two half-inch holes, and then it was powder-coated safety yellow. Um, chances are the powder coating is going to get beat up over time uh, but it'll certainly last longer than it would if it was just painted um, so that was worth the extra couple of dollars to me um, to, to get it to that point so there you go guys um, any questions feel free to ask uh, this will be a DIY uh, security chain motorcycle security chain part four uh, to go along with the chain that originally started the process which is right there uh, it still works great it's still a great chain I use it for my other bikes as well. Um, that was about $30 for all that. That chain I got on Amazon, I think, is a closeout for $30 or $35. It's a Schlage. Uh, but there you go. So feel free to make comments and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys.